everybody. Welcome to week six of CNE TV. We're back in, we're, we just started to move in today. We've got our, uh, we're going to display our hot water heating system for you. On the, my right hand side is Devin Harnerang. He's been our mechanical engineer for this. He's developing all the, uh, Devin, he's, been, he's, he's got together all the piping. He's going to give you a quick rundown of that before we go. And to my left hand side is Jim Morris. He's our supplier of the lock and var boiler that he's going to go over and the domestic hot water tank. And also he's supplied the, um, the radiant heat in all the rooms. And he'll do a short summary of all of those. Hi, I'm Devin Ryan and I did a mechanical design for this building. And uh, this here is a gas boiler. And um, here you can see a gas meter that is connected to our boiler, which is measuring the gas consumption and this is going to be connected to our DDC system and this here is a pump that's a water flow, a water flow pump that's measuring the uh, water consumption of our uh, domestic hot water tank and um, this here is a Badger BTU meter which is measuring the BTU consumption of the main loop uh, that is the BTU meter that's measuring the water consumption of the heat exchanger and the top BTU meter there is measuring the water consumption of the in-floor heating and as you can see there's another BTU meter up there and that's measuring the water consumption of the baseboard and all the BTU meter was donated by Badger and also the control valves was donated by Belimo and we have control valves on every baseboard in the building and and as you can see we also have a pressure gauge throughout this system that's measuring the pressure right here of each loop and these are our pumps right here, as you can see down here this is a glycol tank that is supplying a glycol to our AHU system for the heating coil Hi, Jim Morris uh, with Mount Cloud and Grant Limited here in Moncton, representing Lock and Bar. Uh, Lock and Bar is very really pleased to uh, partner with Controls Equipment in this project. The Lock and Bar boiler you're seeing here is a KVN 286, which is a 286,000 BTU boiler, uh, modulating condensing. Modulating condensing meaning that it's about the most efficient boiler that's available on the market today. Efficiency was, of course, the, uh, the prime concern in this building, and efficiency and controls. So this boiler uh, has the ability to recognize each individual zone, as Devin had mentioned earlier. So we can recognize the in-floor zone at one temperature, a heat exchanger zone at another temperature, and uh, the third being the baseboard, with the intention of running itself at the lowest possible temperature uh, to save money and uh, obviously give the best comfort to the fine people at Controls and Equipment. So the boiler itself, so the, the boiler operates anywhere from 20 to 100 percent of its, of its uh, actual capacity. So right now it's resting. Uh, it was turned on today, and we're already up to temperature in most of the zones. So uh, it can operate as low as 45,000 BTU. So as the temperature changes outside the boiler, with uh, the assistance of the controls of the building uh, and the automation, will actually produce heat as it's required outside, as opposed to the old-fashioned traditional boilers which would just stay at one hot temperature uh, no matter what. So uh, again, it's a smart control and it is indeed smart. And it also controls the Squire indirect hot water tank. So uh, the domestic water load in the building was, is produced via this boiler, again at high efficiency, anywhere in the range of 92 to 98 percent efficiency, which of course means that 98 percent of the heat produced in the unit, the building gets, and only 2 percent goes up the old chimney. Um, so the unit, uh, again, uh, being a condensing mode means that flue gases in this unit are, are very, very low and it actually produces condensate. So as we talked about with the smart control and efficiency and high efficiency being the biggest concern, the, the boiler comes standard with a smart control which uh, measures the outdoor temperature as well as the temperature of the water in the system. Uh, the programming inside the boiler itself will then choose the proper temperature that's required to heat up to. Uh, it also being one of the more friendly boilers when it comes to control technology it has the ability to send back uh, real-time signals to the control strategy in the building giving uh, the, the temperature of the water to the DDC control package uh, alarms uh, and real-time information as well as historical information so uh, it all works together in one large package hmm. also we uh, it was 
uh, it was suggested that uh, in the future this building might also be uh, using solar. So uh, the ability of this indirect tank to also be used with a solar package is, uh, is there for the future and uh, hopefully someday soon we'll see some solar panels on the roof These of the building. These are in-floor drawings and you can see the different in-floor loops for the different zones for our building. Hi, um, this here is the in-floor loop that I was in charge of too and I came up with some of the design for the in-floor and basically the in-floor is serving our new section of the building. So this here is the supply that's a return there and these are actuators for the valve so each zone's got its own valve. And that's here is a temperature sensor which measures the temperature throughout the, the loop. And uh, basically all this is going to be controlled by a three-way mixing valve in the mechanical room. And uh, when this is finished, there will be a plexiglass over it for everyone to see. Um, this here is a radium panel that we install in our downstairs washroom and it's controlled by that control valve there from Berlimo. And it supply heat to the radium panel. Hi, um, as you can see, you've seen the mechanical room and basically uh, the boiler is going to be supplying hot water to the AHU system which is connected to the heating coil. It's going to be connected to the domestic hot water tank. It's also going to be connected to the in-floor heating and also to the baseboard and the radiant sealant panel in the washroom. So basically the boiler is doing all the heating system for the whole building. Again, as we spoke about downstairs in cooperation with the lock of our boiler and domestic hot water, we were very pleased to support the baseboard heaters uh, in the spirit of efficiency and the highest possible efficiency. We uh, has provided these in cooperation with Devon and doing a sizing in the building. Uh, these heaters uh, work with low temperature uh, water as opposed to the traditional 180, 170 degree water. Again, uh, attempting to uh, provide the most amount of comfort, the most amount of heat and cost the least amount of money. Uh, so we have these in uh, about two-thirds of the building, uh, meaning that this building will, uh, with cooperation of the in-floor slab, the uh, baseboard, and uh, an air handling unit will be operating at the highest possible efficiency. Well, we come to the end of segment number six. I hope you enjoyed uh, learning about uh, hot water heating systems in a commercial building. I'd like to thank uh, Jim Morris who came to the plate for us, man, when we needed him to come in there. We uh, really like his equipment and uh, we're going to be really happy with it. And Devin, man, good job. So we'll uh, see you all next week.